Hey everyone, got another awesome lock clamped up in the vise for you today. This time I've got this Abus Bufo. Kind of a uh, buffalo. Uh, pretty cool lock. Let me get uh, zoomed in on it here. This one was sent to me by Potty314. And the note that came with this lock, it says... From Tobias and Julian, and updated pins by Potty314. So, we've got some updated pins in this one. So, let's see what it takes to get into it. That's kind of weird. It ticks when I uh, put tension on it. Well, I guess I might as well show you the key. It, uh, pretty, uh, pretty nice bidding. Got a low and a high, then uh, a few lows behind it. <clears throat> so let's go ahead with picking this puppy. Nothing on one, nothing on two. Click from three. Let me reset real quick. I think I overset one. Couple nice clicks from uh, pin two there. Click from three. And I just went to overset land. Okay, back to pin number one, nothing. And I saw a click from two. And everything's bound. It's bound pretty solid. So I'm actually going to switch up picks here. I'm going to go to a kind of a, a Euro style hook. We're going to click off a of two. Nothing on three. Click from four. And then an overset. And then another overset. And as soon as I set pin three, it just likes to scoot right on up there. I want to change pins here, or picks here a little bit. Pin one, pin two, pin three. Nothing on four. Nothing on five, so back to one, nothing. Click from two. Nothing on three. Okay, looks like four wants to be picked now. Redrop down, got a nice click. Okay, nice click from three and it put me into a false set. Let me check the back pins. Nothing. Pin one. Kind of rotation. Don't trust it. <laughs> Alright, back to pin one. Nope, oh, and then we're open off a of three. 
All right. Not a bad pick at all. It's a really cool little lock with the uh, buffalo on it there. All right. Um, I've got a bendy clip. Now, I might be able to get started with these by pushing here. Mm. And those aren't deep enough to go in there. Uh, let's see here. What else can I use? Let's try a flathead screwdriver. And no worries if I lock it up because I do have a key. Lock it back up, I guess. Sometimes we get these clips that just don't want to come off. Um, let me see if I can get my C-clip remover in there. I didn't get it out right away because I thought that was a bendy clip. It looks like a uh, sur-clip or C-clip. not pushing it out all the way. is not plain fair. There we go. All right. Four and a half minutes to pick the lock and four minutes to take the clip off. <laughs> um, because this is a challenge lock, I'm going to go ahead and shim it. <clears throat> Clear my throat. All right. Okay, what is up with pin 5? That's something weird going on here, fellas. It looks like it's effectively a 4-pin lock. That was pin 1 and 2. Pin 3. Pin 4 and pin 5. Is a set screw. Mm, give me a second. Yeah, that's a threaded in set screw.
Huh. I have never seen that before. I guess that explains why I didn't have to pick pin 5. Okay. Okay, it's back in place just as deep as it was. Let's see if there's any threads in here. And no threads to the chambers. So other than the set screw in 5, it is a bone stock lock. Uh, down below. Guarantee you it's not stock up here since uh, Tobias and Julian had a uh, hand in making this sucker, so. I've got a T-pin with a steel spring. I've got a Pool with a little bit of a T-pin on it. With a steel spring. I've got a barrel pin. With another steel spring. Got a another T pin. Whoa! Sh I think I know why the ball bearing was in there now. That just shot out of uh, <laughs> chamber five with some authority. Looks like the spring in chamber 5 is still in there. Yep, and it is a powerful spring. That is a very stiff steel spring there, fellas. And I don't see any mods to the top. No threads that I can tell. Nope. Alright, uh, so well, let's take a look and see what we have in here. We've got a standard, I bet this, uh, this ball bearing shot out first, so it was situated like that in chamber 5. That's interesting. Okay, so let's look at these pins. Okay, I've got all standard key pins in 1 through 4. And I've got a T pin in 1. Then a T-pin spool, then I've got a homemade barrel pin, and then a T-pin, and then a standard with a ball bearing. And the ball bearing rides, if I can hang on to it, can't hang on to it fellas. <laughs> I am just butterfingers right now. That is somewhat hilarious. But it just rides right there in that. And uh, I guess it... Well, that's probably what was causing that tick when I first started to put tension on it. I don't really know if that's some sort of like uh, anti-bump feature that they built into it. I'm not, I'm not real sure. Anyway, guys, really interesting lock from uh, Tobias and Julian that was sent to me by uh, Potty314. Fun times. Everyone, please stay safe. Don't do anything illegal. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe.